Okay. Um, so let us start today's session, uh, which is primarily going to be about the, the culture or the environment in our homes. Uh, let's start with reflection as always. Right. So uh, we want you to uh, start by choosing a number between one and six. Just choose any number. This is a kind of a dice activity. So in a way, by choosing the number uh, one to six, you are Ratnesh rolling your, your own dice. Ratnesh, your voice is cracking. Ratnesh, your voice is cracking. My voice is cracking. OK. Roger calling Charmy. Roger calling Charmy. <laughs> Charlie was facing voice Roger problems. Calling... Uh, is the voice kind of uh, logged into a phone? Can you hear me? Is the voice better? Uh, are you able to hear me? Mm, I'm not getting any response. Just one moment. So is the voice better now? Are you able to hear me? Okay. Okay. Yes, Charlie, your voice is clear. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Roger. <laughs> okay. So we start with the uh, reflection, as usual. And uh, for this, this is a dice based activity. So you choose the number between one and six, assuming you have rolled your own dice. So just choose, keep that in mind. Okay. Yes, and the voice is echoing. Uh, it's still not clear. So now this is a repeat phone. It doesn't like my voice. Is it better now? Yeah, it's still echoing. I'm literally eating the phone, so it is that close. Better okay, so the instructions is this is a dice activity. So choose the number between one to six, assuming you have rolled your own dice. So you can just choose it in the mind, you don't have to really um, show it anywhere. Okay, still going, still in clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll try another one. If you want to show the PPT from my side, no, 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 that is not an issue. That is not an issue because PPT we are showing through a different device. No, now your voice is very clear. Super oh, no. clear. I think Aditi went away, so now her phone is listening to me. <laughs> yeah. 
is it better now? Okay, so I let still somebody saying okay, still empty here. Um, right, so the idea is to choose a number between one to six and uh, so imagine that you are the dice and uh, you have a dice and you just rolled it. So whatever number you got, choose one number. And if you have chosen now, uh, out of that number, and based on the number, whatever uh, question starter you got, you, you first create a reflection question for yourself. And if you want, please type that in the chat window. And then you can answer that question. So you can, you can, based on your number, choose the word there and start the question with that word and type the question in the chat window. That will be your reflection question. Example, if you got, let's say, six, let's say where? Six number is where? So you can come up with a question like, where in my day I was unkind or kind? Like that. So, so set up a question, a reflection question. Are you able to hear my instructions? Yeah, okay, okay, so that is not a problem. Good. So yeah, so go ahead, type. Based on your number, your Radhika's type, who challenged my beliefs today? Then Amit is type, where do I learn new recipes for making sense? No, no, it's a reflection question. So uh, it's not a planning question, like, where will I find you? It's, so it's like you're going to ask this question, let's say, to, to everybody else for the day. Let's say we're reflecting back on, let's say, today or yesterday. So, yeah, so yeah, let it be a generic question which anybody can answer. Let's say you're, you're with 100 people, all 100 can answer. So, for example, Amit, you can do it, where did I challenge myself in a day? So that, that's a good enough where question. Okay, uh, there is no house, Nita. Uh, you have to choose one number and then you have to choose from there. So there is no house here in the dice. Okay, I'm just saying, where did I lose my head? <laughs> you have to file an effort. <laughs> you have lost it. <laughs> okay, you choose, choose did. Okay. So then start with did, did the planning go as it was supposed to go? Something like that. Just so is the starting word. Is it the right path, says Pallavi? And why am I not getting up early? Okay, so right now you are giving yourself what the question, which is fine. So um, that's, that's more like analysis, but that's okay. Uh, where in the day was I trying new things? Yeah. So Denise's question is, what are we to do? <laughs> yeah, we have to choose a number and start a reflection question. Frame a reflection question. And then also try to answer that question. I think she's making a reflection Right. Uh, Ritu is asking, was there? This? Okay. And there is no starting word of was there, but anyway, was there harmony between my emotional state and my son's need? Wow. Where I feel difficulty is to learn. Okay. Okay. Past tenses. If something had to change today, that what is it okay right so go ahead and answer these questions which either you can answer either your question 
or uh, you can answer anybody else's question. Now you have a lot of questions there, you can answer any of these. So typically we, we do this with dices or we draw, uh, we write different words on a ball and we throw the ball to each other. And let's say the, bird, the word on the ball is look. And if my right thumb le landed on, uh, on the word look, then I have to say, what did I look like? Or, uh, and so on. Vivian is asking, where is Aditi? Okay, not liking me talking. <laughs> She's right here. <laughs> Aditi, you are in demand. Sorry, my rating is low. <laughs> okay, Mansi is saying, did I follow the process properly? Okay, cool. So, so a lot of you are kind of hoping you're answering at least one of them. Um, Right. Okay. Let's do one more uh, step of this where now we have, okay, sorry. So we have, uh, um, yeah, I sure was asking, <laughs> okay, why did I choose to do SD of course? Yeah. But this, this question was to do with today or maximum today and yesterday, but that's okay. Um, yeah. So now choose a number between one and 16. Everybody choose a number between one and 16. And here what we have done is we have made 16 questions and you can, based on your number, you will answer that question, right? So, okay, so just choose your number. You don't have to tell us on your number and based on what number you choose, pick up that question and answer that question. I mean, it's not WhatsApp game today, it's WhatsApp game today. <laughs> oh, 16th question went down the slide. Okay. So it's the 16th one, choose another number. <laughs> yeah. I choose another number and pick up that. You understand what all did I like? Okay, or unlike I <laughs> like I, yeah. What did I like? What all did I like? I think I went on the other side. Who all did I like? What all or unlike or not like? Yeah, I think there's a type for that. Right, so uh, this is just another way of doing activity. The advantage here is when we, when we have a lot of questions and, and each one of us, including children, choose one, one or two, two questions by either rolling a dice or by any other randomization. Then first of all, they feel there's a lot of choices. They can even pick up a question or pick up a chip. And the, the advantage is, let's say I pick up a question, let's say I, I picked up number, did I heard put down or bully others? Now, even though this is my question and I will share the answers, others also end up thinking about that question for themselves. So it's a very interesting way. I don't, the question is not directed at you, but if I start sharing, did I heard put down or bully somebody, then it passes on to us. Uh, this SDL course, uh, first and second session, we were talking about planning. And uh, then we were, some of us, uh, some of you were also um, a little puzzled that, okay, when should I intervene? How should I intervene? How should I, should I say to my child that you have not done the planning? What is that? Uh, how do I go about it now that the child has decided? Is it that I'm not supposed to say anything? Uh, 
so these reflection processes bring uh, brings uh, uh, makes me uh, makes me uh, either you can say not required but required in a different way uh, i as an adult or parent of educated is not required to be police to them or to check to them check with them whether they have done it or not but i can be a guide to them through these reflective processes that can i understand myself can i understand my own struggles what happened why it did not happen what are the things i'm i'm, I'm uh, facing uh, it can be even self it can be social it can be work related it can be skill related it can be uh, my attitude related it can be anything which i can uh, uh, bring uh, the awareness and that's what i think uh, krishna would say is that uh, if i can if i can understand my, my myself then that's the beginning of the education uh, next session we will be talking more about uh different reflection processes but uh, i think in the beginning of the almost all the sessions we are just bringing one 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 different kind of reflection you can design your own reflection uh, depending on the needs depending on the how the child is uh, responding that day that week you can bring uh, different kinds of yeah so let's move ahead okay uh ishwardhan is saying voice is still not clear okay let us try another <laughs> ratnesh your voice is clear now it's very clear okay it's just so me. they have to check their uh, connections over there so if mm. your voice is not clear it will come was aditi first. throughout clear yes yes very clear yeah, it is her phone usually her voice is clear she got <laughs> a better phone than you sir <laughs> absolutely <laughs> okay so uh when uh, oh somebody is saying that this was not clear okay for some people clear some people not clear <clears throat> okay let's see how it goes uh, please keep telling us uh, whether the voice is clear or not clear uh, right so um let's look at uh, the concept of in i environment or environment um the the few things that we say up front is that uh, uh, it is not environment it is actually i environment as in it is it is where the i is respected accepted uh, celebrated invited uh, uh, it's valued right um uh, which is where the 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 thinking of the whole environment is to see how the child uh child's journey child's learning can be uh, can be grown and in some ways it can't just be the child's learning uh it has to be everybody's learning everybody's growth everybody's joy everybody's interaction everybody is uh um uh, interest and so on so i can go on yeah somebody saying i for interacting and so on there so it's in in some ways it is not even an environment we say environment is just uh, the the term that we use but finally it's all about a culture the kind what kind of culture do i create in my home uh, which fosters uh, all of the things yeah just uh, um i i don't know many of us are aware of this or or maybe consciously now we can check the language uh, i was watching a video of around 2 and 1/2 year old and then he is interacting with mother and he's saying in your kitchen i cannot touch anything <laughs> and this child keeps on saying listen to me linda and and then you know uh, the conversation goes and he keep on saying in your kitchen i cannot touch anything uh, although it's home it's a family living together but somewhere uh, uh you know uh, in, in some things it's like it's like my car it's it's my <laughs> dad's car <laughs> my dad's car so um it it's just a just a twist into understand that okay maybe how how 
I don't know how how our children are looking at this whole thing. That is it. Um, does this kitchen belongs to me? Does this kitchen belongs to you? Or does this kitchen belong to all of us? And and that's where I think I uh, when I when when we say I, how much I for the child is there in that whole uh, process. No, Aditi, till today also I cannot enter into my mom's kitchen. <laughs> mom's kitchen. Yeah. So I, so, I, so I enter do. when she is not there. <laughs> so let's do it this way. Let's co-create uh, the different aspects of environment. Uh, the way I, or rather we look at it is that all of us would are doing a lot of interesting things at our home. In, to, in terms of environment. So we will cover uh, starting with physical environment then mental environment then social emotional environment. So we'll, we'll cover all aspects. So uh, we'll go one by one. But I'm expecting a lot of busy chatting from you all today where you share a lot of uh, uh, thoughts on what are you all doing. So just share different things that you are doing to make that magic inside each home. And if we collect from every home, I'm sure we'll be that much more richer. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the first one. Let's look at physical environment or the physical uh, being of the whole space of home. Right? Uh, we have put some, some regular points from our side, but those are more the overall points. But I would like people to share concrete experiences. You can come on voice, you can put on chat. What what little, little things that you have done to make your home and physically, so right now we're not talking about anything else but physical environment. What physically, what, what have you brought in? What have you changed? What have you, how have you looked at the physical spaces? Um, yeah, so just start sharing in the chat window. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll just go through the list that we have on the uh, on the slide, which is fairly, uh, you can say, self-explanatory. Uh, the key things in, in, in a physical environment is the resources, which includes the building, all the material inside it, uh, right from the big ones, like size-wise, I'm saying big ones, like cars and fridges and cupboards and beds and all that, to little tiny things like needles and marbles and seeds and, and buttons, right? Um, right, yeah, somebody's saying safety, yes, we need to look at safety, definitely. We are accessible, uh, things are organized, uh, uh, we know where to find what, yeah, and we don't have to keep on asking, Mama, where are the buttons kept? Mama, where are the needles kept? Mama, where are the, uh, where is what kept? Right. Uh, and also, hopefully, it is co-organized, co-owned. It is not like mom's kitchen and dad's car, but everybody's kitchen and everybody's car. Right. And then there are so many resource recycles. Yeah, uh, some responses started coming. Yeah, bookshelf, uh, reachable and accessible. There's a space to explore. That's quite interesting. That uh, our, our home has a space for the children to explore. <clears throat> a table for the Lego work, um, something to uh, a space dedicated to children, rest us to waste. We are co owned. Um, uh, Ritu is saying uh, paper, redundant books, speakers to be able to do what we want. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Walls to scribble and write uh, as for the child's need that varies that place. Yeah, it's a small thing, but yes, stool and bathroom and kitchen where the children can now reorganize themselves uh, as for the different heights available. Quite interesting. Yes, movement for children, their own spaces, uh, kitchen utensils. Yeah, Nalini also shared on WhatsApp that how 
like the whole kitchen utensils are part of the children uh yeah sit down together different different places to sit together and facilitate the yeah yeah that's a very small thing with the that takes a lot of there is a space for us to come together and talk yeah you have a picnic spot as as balcony with the basket <coughs> yeah okay my voice is going yeah uh, yeah maybe pranish what maybe you're talking about is more of a, the mental environment um, uh, emotional environment where we where we accept each other's needs that okay your need is to play like this and my need is of the beauty is like that yeah we, women has whiteboard in all the rooms for something for children to write down yeah uh a, a, a very small thing but um uh, which has uh, created a lot of um uh, accessibility in in our space like arudi is um, um everything is labeled so and uh, so children can or anybody who enters that space uh, they can um access uh, the resources and sometimes children just spend uh, time in resource room reading all these labels and getting themselves updated with okay what all is there and where all it is kept amit is talking about yeah their play zone place to call their friends yeah that's very very, very respectful that you can leave child to or, or or any any children to come right now uh oh. yeah your house is available to play play outdoor games yeah it needs it needs a little bit of changes inside the house to be able to create those spaces for them In, uh, uh, as an architect when i used to design on even in college when we were uh, we were being trained to design uh, um, different things and then when we were trained to design the home uh, surprisingly none of these needs came up we would design a child's cupboard maximum uh, a bookshelf and study books Uh, a small space to keep stationery a drawer or something keeps things keep file and uh, you know big shelves to keep the toys as if you just need to dump those toys into those shelf and and there was no space at least i never created in my designs um before i um, came to the campus and uh, started redesigning those spaces for children that um uh, you know there was no space for the junk junk places there was no space for uh, labeling things so we, we we as a designer we never thought about it so uh, uh, you know when i when i rethink about it then i i, I think that uh, how how less we knew about uh, when we were designing the home we were possibly designing the homes for the 
for the adults, less for the children. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, yeah. Some and 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 I think uh, if if the space allows the children to recycle um, and 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 some of the things like. Uh, yeah, Ritu is echoing with me, <laughs> being another architect. Uh, so maybe uh, so just sharing a little bit uh, uh, some of the things which we treasure as resources are, um, say, umbrellas, raincoats, moustache, and raincoats are kept. Even though there is a not rain, we just keep them outside for uh, children to just play, wear it. Uh, we have a concept called welcome or the resource of the day where every day we bring something. And we uh, we don't bring, um, uh, yeah, we do bring say different, uh, say board games or, or, or obvious or toys or, or different kind of resources. But consciously we also bring something like different sizes of finger rings, bangles, non-working phones, threads, different kinds of threads, different sizes of chart paper, different types of chart papers, juggling balls, seats, beads. And, and we just keep it there. And, you know, it, uh, sometime they, they spend a lot of time with that. Somebody was asking that how did a child spend uh, three days with the thread? That child just uh, enjoyed exploring those uh, uh, thread. So, uh, uh, so, so here are some of the things which I have put it up. Uh, and one of the things which makes a difference for children is that even these things are in our space, like Aruhi, uh, they are organized, they are labeled, they are kept uh, as we will keep any other resource uh, for, for children. Uh, children, for anybody to go and uh, there's a space. Uh, for uh, to keep all these things, yeah, Ratnesh is, yeah, now, uh, Amit is talking about, yeah, one corner for nature, for music, yeah, there are different, different spaces. Uh, so, so some of you already might be doing at your home, some of you can get more ideas from each other that how, how just a set of all the patas kept for children, um, uh, how, how it can, it can just invite them uh, to go beyond uh, what is obviously uh, out there for them available. In fact, uh, an interesting game is to actually take a resource and say, "Hey, how all can you use it?" Let's say, uh, let's say dupatta. If I say an old, if I if there are a few old dupattas around, uh, then how all you can use a dupatta. And, and children come up with, we almost go up to 100 different ideas of how we can use it. And it's, then, then, then children realize, oh, that means I don't have to use something as that only, but I can really go wild in terms of how I can use it. Right? So it's not just one way or two ways of using something, but actual 100 ways of doing it. So that's an interesting activity you can do with your kids. Sit down. And say, okay, here we have these things, old CDs. What all we can do with it? Or we have, uh, you know, uh, some old pillows. What all we can do other than pillow fights and so on? Yeah, so that reminds me. Uh, I think this picture is also there. So, uh, in one of the welcome in the morning, we just kept. If you see the first picture, <laughs> that's a, a mopping uh, waste uh, threads uh, which came up. We actually washed them and put them in sun and then we kept it in our resource and one of this child this child thought it's a good headgear uh, uh, for 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 him to explore and uh, so, so so ratnish when you're saying the patas is one of the thing which uh, came came in my mind is that one of the uh, such exploration we just kept it you can't use the patas the patas and then came up uh, uh, lots of different, just one instruction that uh, you can't use the patas and the patas. And then it, it went on and not only the smaller age, I think all ages when they were moving around from that area, they would pick up a dupatta and pretend something and then do something. Wars happen, uh, car race happen, a lot of different things happen. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, so, so there, there are... There, there, there are many, 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 many possibilities uh, 
with, with anything which we do. Uh, some of the opportunities which we create, uh, like labeling resources, um, sometimes some of the books, uh, library, uh, it's a huge library, and I, I think uh, in homes also, some of the homes have lots and lots of books, and some of the books sometimes just goes into the back seat. Uh, what if we just every week we bring say three weeks of the book and we just keep it there in display in some place, maybe a dining table or uh, or or in our, our living room, where the children are just getting connected with that resource. Somebody during the uh, dinner can bring. Okay, uh, uh, we have this concept of daily diet, which we normally have it uh, <clears throat> in our thought club, but then at ho in, in home scenarios, we can have, um, uh, you know, uh, each one uh, bringing, say, a science law, a physics law, a history law, a fact, a puzzle, a, uh, a joke, um, and, and, and we call it daily diet. So it's, you know, daily dose of something. Somebody can bring the news of the way we, uh, we have a, even a concept called health and hygiene, where one child, uh, on weekly basis, bring some aspects of health and hygiene, and a lot of these, uh, surprisingly, some of them also bring things like you know what what turmeric can do and how to use um, cloves for your uh, toothache or uh, uh, you know um, why why one should take bath or what happens when bath is taken. Although um, there are no, I mean, there is marginal change after this exploration, but there is an awareness that I'm choosing not to take bath and choosing not to take care of my uh, blood flow. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm aware that, uh, you know, uh, how, how different things happen. One of the time one child brought how to wash hands. Uh, it's, it's just that they pick up what things either they are facing or they're thinking then what's happening in the community, maybe children, what's happening in the home, they can bring, uh, they can be the consultant for that day that they bring instead of we bringing that, uh, you know, um, you should drink milk and this and that, uh, eat vegetables and we can still go ahead and do it. But here is the invitation that how do we bring um, children participating in these uh, these environment um we we also have um, we have tags of the foods uh, food items uh, things which are carbohydrates things which are protein things which are fat and the some of the, some of the time that that itself brings oh, okay i never knew that rice is um uh, carbohydrate maybe i have just read it in the textbook and then i've never uh, related in my real life and a different kind of dals are protein and you know that that's just a, a realization or uh, a very very subtle um, awareness uh, similarly we also bring emotion of the week where um, where we display or where we share a, a definition of an emotion or usage of the emotions or effects of the emotions uh, food stories come, how did the ragi come, what is the difference between ragi and wheat and what, what, how do the crops are grown, so the people in the kitchen bring those stories. We also do uh, some meal special, today's, today's dinner in silence, today's dinner um, debating, today's dinner served to your, um, uh, to your enemy. <laughs> um, so, so, and and uh, and and also there are there are a lot of uh, written instructions are put. We will keep a, a say a, a box full of cookies, and on there the instructions are written uh, to each. <laughs> so I also have a box full of cookies in front of me, and I also have instructions which say to each, and then that brings a, a different kind of a dynamics for me to now choose and not to choose. Uh, a lot of resources, things like bottle caps, ice film sticks they are all sorted kept in different boxes always available for children so I, i'm sure uh, these are just some of the ideas uh, as you will now relook into your home and then you see that how can you create those um, things which are already available inside the house how can you convert them into accessible and organized uh, resources for the child 
uh, yeah, in this, I, I just also wanted to bring this um, a demonstrations uh, uh, is, is one of the processes. If, if we have bought, say, a new set of paints or if we bought a new cutter for our garden, um, we normally um, we, we, we normally show off show off in the sense we demonstrate how it works how it what will I do with it uh, where all it can be done how it will be labeled which place it will be kept what are different ways people can use what are the safety measures we need to take for that um, and, and and different kind of thing and some of the time these resources like this is one of the photo from that you know lots of art supplies we got it from the market and then there was a lot of excitement around those art supplies <clears throat> okay um, let's move on to mental environment um, so uh, I, while there are these bullets points on the slide i would uh, suggest let's not look at them straight away let's first start sharing how, what kind of, or what do we do to create that kind of a mental environment, what we want? What, what do we consciously do? I'm not talking about, maybe a lot of things we are uh, consciously doing which are good, maybe, uh, sorry, unconsciously doing which are good. Maybe some of them are not so good. That's okay, but let's, let's think about, let's share in chat window what are we are consciously doing to develop the mental environment or the culture of mentally engaging with things, ideas, thoughts, and so on. Uh, Nalini, you say freedom, but that's too broad. Say, can you say more specifically, what, what does, how does it translate into actual action? Freedom is more like our bullet points on the slide. <laughs> I'm expecting you guys to share specifically this is what we do. Okay, doing prayers together, freedom to explore their play. Okay, so does freedom mean in terms of time, I can do it as much as I can? Or does freedom mean I can choose which one to do? What does freedom mean? So because freedom is very, very wide. Okay, uh, Pranesh is talking about asking before doing, kind of a design discuss before doing. Um, okay, Nalini is talking about choosing how to play. Okay, Yeshwadini is saying getting irritated and losing patience. That will come more on the emotional one. We'll come to that, Yeshwadini, in a little while. Okay, Radhika is talking about, we don't suggest what to do, so she is in the habit of leading herself, right? Poovi is talking about sharing food with all family members. Lots of activities, what we are talking about, like jokes, news, riddles, playing lots of games, yeah, recording songs, share chores, play together. Informing each other is what Sunita is talking about more in terms of planning, sharing what we are discovering, okay? Stories, biographies, design a story together, cooking, yep, cooking is a together thing. More, more thoughts. Yeah, listening and then responding, value adding, understanding and value adding, right? A lot of conversation. Yeah, a lot of conversation, a lot of informal talk, playing together, feedback. Ah, Priya is reminding of just hugs, while that might be a little more emotional environment, but that's okay. I guess these are not watertight buckets. Right. So some of the things we have put on the slide as bullet points. Uh, one of the things I like talking about is, is, uh, is almost uh, encouraging children to fail, to, to let it go. And if, to, to even say before, even if it doesn't come out okay, it's okay, just go ahead and try. 
I think that reassurance is helps. Yeah, we have already talked about production versus consumption uh, in the previous sessions. So yeah, getting them to not just take in but do things. Uh, the third point is very interesting. Here we're saying allow them to do things in their own styles, with their own preferences and with their own idiosyncrasies, which would mean their own peculiar way of looking at things. Each one of us is very peculiar in the way we look at or do or interact with things. Um, so yeah, if you allow for all this, then there's a there is no mental tension ki what will mama say or what will papa say and so on so that makes it very very simple for a child to go ahead and and create things asking for involvement uh, and opinions this is interesting because especially when you can get them uh, to give you opinion for your things not you giving opinion for their things but they giving opinions to your things so Whatever, if you have to call and talk to somebody, you ask them their opinion that this is the problem with this person, how should I resolve it, or so on. So the idea is to get them to, or it's a home decision, so make it as involving as possible. And in the, in the same league, uh, children teaching adults, adults teaching children, and so on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah, they can give you guidance, Sunita. Yeah, they can help you understand yourself as much as we can help them understand them. Right, I, I, I hope there are a lot of arguments, there's pushing, pulling. Yeah, I, I guess all of that doesn't need to be the goody goody one. A lot of mental environment happens when there are lots of fights, lots of arguments, lots of pushing, pulling, challenging. Uh, till we are, till we are not only hell bent on proving ourselves right or or getting our things uh, uh, yeah the upper hand yeah disagreements one one little tip that i can give you is when there are when there's a debate disagreements uh, opinions especially with younger children then write them down in front of them which shows them that whatever they are sharing whatever they are thinking is important uh, because sometimes they, they may feel, oh, uh, you may be feeling like that I'm, uh, I'm ready for this disagreement, but they may not be. So if I draw a line in the middle of the paper and say, these are your views on the left hand side, these are my views on the right hand side, and we agree to disagree. Now that writing down, and maybe I just put it up on the refrigerator with a magnet, that kind of little uh, uh, anchor, the visual anchor of my thoughts written down by my mom on the paper, or dad is, is I think, an, is an amazing way to say to the child that your thoughts are valuable. And then the child may even go back and show you, see, you wrote there, and then you did this, and did this. <laughs> and then, and that's, yeah, yeah, feels respected, feels valued. Um, and, and also a lot of extension thoughts can come because they are, they're like placeholders, they're anchors there. Uh, does somebody want to come on mic? I, I, I could hear some. Yeah, I did. These revolve up. Uh, let's try to together solve, especially when I also don't know. And we may end up making a bigger mess of it. But these kind of failures in trying to repair things or trying to solve problems, whether it is, oh, my fixed deposit is not getting end cash with the bank, so I need to call the bank call center and so on, anything, uh, literally. So we can, we can repair or at least try to repair anything. Uh, it could be relationships, it could be <laughs> any aspect, but the engagement is, is amazing. Yeah, so that's the kind of, um, environment that can be it's it's not like we only need to uh, give the uh, smaller crumbs to children and we take the bigger chunks or the big responsible chunks but can we get them to be uh, at least uh, they have the invitation that they can take part in every chunk in the house 
now they may choose not to they may say this is too too big thing you handle it that's okay but at least they will see that okay i was invited to be part of this or my thoughts were taken in yeah um, one of the mental environment related point here is that <coughs> um we recommend that uh, can we can we take this the whole concept of learning out of age barrier that uh, only um, adults can teach children and um, children can't teach others so we create those um, uh, those opportunities where we um, where we encourage and and many of the time the first response uh um, even from many of the adults who are not into teaching the first response comes is what is that can i teach I means i can't teach anything uh, and then when we talk about the okay you are good with um, uh, say embroidery or you're good with say paper cutting or you're say good with um a uh, uh, emotion talking or maybe you're good with folding clothes there was a session somebody took how to fold your clothes and and a four year old who taught somersault to all the others 40 years old <laughs> yeah so uh, those those small small things which we which we pick uh, while they are uh, doing it and then we when then then we bring them back to back to them that okay see oh hey you can uh, you can you can there is an opportunity and we create those opportunities by uh, uh, say um, uh things like um uh, say learning mela where um, uh, all different kind of people different ages put up the learning stalls and then on learning stalls different kind of ages goes um and that, that's just I, i thought i'll just share a small video of that and uh, let me she just uh, making the sound um sharing and and see if you can just tell tell me in chat window if you are able to uh listen to the music
speaking on me. Oops. I have to speak again. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, fine. Sorry. Yeah, I think I was on mute. Can you listen to me now? Okay. Yep. Okay. So I went in my flow. I'll repeat again. So in this uh, learning mela, this is just one of the learning mela which we keep having. Seven-year-old Adve was not too small to set up a learning stall to teach others that how to cut using, how to cut wood using the saw. He had just learned a week back from and got the mastery over that he could use the saw uh, to cut the wood. Uh, another nine-year-old who who just explored how to make story making in activity club, put up a learning stall. That, oh, I can teach other people how to make stories. Ratnesh was not too old or not too out of place to teach drums to other children. Or uh, Other people who came in the Mela, another child, 12 year old Chetan, he just learned magic tricks from uh, another person at the campus. And he said, oh, I can now teach the magic tr uh, tricks to others. And then he, he put up a magic trick session. 14-year-old Drupad was uh, not too out of place to teach uh, juggling to other people who had who has been doing um, maybe since his childhood. Another eight-year-old, uh, the five-year-old thought that I can teach somersault. My body is flexible in enough. And then he was quite puzzled that my, why our bodies are not so. He was saying, oh, it's just the... Uh, you do this and you do that. So I, I think uh, uh, the point is that when maybe uh, if we, as, as I think some of you are already saying that I have learned from my son how to walk on escalator, horse riding, making pizza. Uh, I think this, this shift of mental environment that only adults can teach others. If we can, uh, or, or only certain people can teach, uh, maybe uh, the home help, which is coming. If you, if you, if you encourage your child that okay, maybe you can learn rangoli from Akka, maybe you can learn this from Anna, maybe you can learn from that Anna. Um, different kind of people, you invite them to create that learning space and then a learning space for your children, and then you are never out of resource people to teach uh, to our children. Okay, I think we have, uh, have we seen one more video? No, I think we can skip this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so before we uh, go on to the social environment, uh, let me put it this way. So we have covered physical and mental. So any uh, questions here, th things that you face differently? Uh, can you hear now? Okay. Okay. No. So there is a uh, another video. Maybe I'll I'll share on WhatsApp. Um, just sorted some material, kept no instructions. There was no one way of doing it, and the children were just exploring with some random material on their own. Okay. So let's move to the social emotional environment. Uh, we put some keywords there, especially acceptance, feedback, uh, relooking at our beliefs, ideas, images, perceptions. Not just children relooking, we relooking, everybody relooking. And yes, definitely learning from our emotions. Our emotions are finally just signals telling us something. We need to listen into our emotions. So, um, yeah, all of these. So, uh, what what do you do uh, at home? Again, share in chat window specifically to create a, a vibrant social emotional environment. A lot of people think that uh, that there is something like an ideal social environment where nobody is angry, nobody is sad, nobody is feeling bad. But I, I think that's not an ideal. That's uh, that's a sanitized. I don't know what to call it. 
that's plasticky <laughs> the real social environment is full of all kinds of emotions from fear to anger to fight to, uh, to anxiety to worry to uh, uh, hatred to jealousy uh, that's the full bollywood drama as sunita is talking about yes so uh, the idea is not to move towards one kind but to idea is to encourage invite accept uh, all as normal as pranesh is pointing out yeah that all emotions are normal all emotions are amazing they are spices all kinds of spices so what do what are you guys doing share in chat window to to celebrate all social emotional environment social also includes again there is an image that you have to play with others you have to share with others you have to you know this have to have to have to you have to be a good boy <laughs> in, in when guests come into a house and so on so how are you uh, leaving behind them and and what are you doing yeah manchi sharing um, space to express when somebody is upset sunita is saying 20 second hugs when someone is not feeling good <clears throat> nalini is talking about laughing singing crying together accepting all the emotions apologize for for something which was not appropriate at that time or maybe there could have been alternate options to that um, yeah shouting is allowed yeah that that's so beautiful that i can <laughs> i i can be be myself at that moment and then maybe later on i can uh, do many different things about it uh, Priya is saying we not try to argue in front of the child. <laughs> <laughs> I would say argue in front of the child. <laughs> uh, so, so Priya, I can share um, one of the reflection process. I asked my both children that uh, sometime we in front of you. Uh, my daughter was saying my son was four. uh my sense is doesn't matter to me anything my daughter said you are humans you are uh, and i was at uh, that, that time i realized yeah i'm not only a parent i'm also a human who can argue uh, who who can uh, who can have their own opinion about it and that was quite comforting and after that uh, we could fight uh, easily in front of our children and then sometime when it was not acceptable my son will say stop now <laughs> he would say you have started again and he will request us not to start again yeah so maybe uh <clears throat> uh, uh yeah we can we can share your opinion to others without having fear that to okay, get supposed to tell uh adopters okay is the voice better now lot of lag is it okay okay then we just change the orientation and the voice <laughs> comes back so a lot of thoughts are coming on emotions uh let more thoughts on your beliefs perceptions how are we taking in different perceptions uh, amit wants to ask a question i mean just hang on we we will take questions all together in just till just one or two minutes so i'm looking at more thoughts on how we are looking at images of each others perceptions beliefs and my again the same tip if i if you allow me to repeat uh <laughs> is that i can um, write down when they when there are emotions around write down when there are perceptions write down those perceptions or make little um, smiley buttons right so if, if the thinking is very different from each other yashwadani how is it that we are valuing those differences as i said one way is to write it down one way is to sit down and say let us do it this way right let us talk out let us see how my thinking is different from my neighbor from your thinking is different from your friend because there will be differences of all kinds cultural mental emotional social all kinds of differences personal differences 
Right. So yes. So one is the old emotional space and also the social space of diversity in opinions, thoughts, habits, styles, ways of doing things, and so on. Yes, journaling Pranesh is an amazing way, and specifically including about people. Oh, some guest came. So let me write about what I think about the guest. And if the child says, "No, that uncle was very weird," you know, how was he doing this thing? So. accepting that the, that the uncle was weird is is also fine and uncle his own weirdness could be our normal and our normal can be his weirdness and so on so right so yeah journaling writing diary drawing uh, yeah role playing and so on a role play is an amazing way to do it when we change roles especially with the younger children they love playing the other way around right so also questioning our own belief saying that oh this is my belief i think up front accepting that i am operating from a belief that itself can be so liberating that okay it's not a truth it's not a right or wrong it's not a black or white but it's just my belief so my belief is that potatoes are will make you fat whatever so we can say that up front rather just say don't eat too much chips or whatever <laughs> yeah right so okay um uh, aditi wants to share an interesting uh, twist she brought out uh, just to just to look beyond our regular perceptions yeah video shooting absolutely video shooting photographs writing yeah absolutely drawing okay so uh, just to uh, not question our own beliefs but uh, maybe to question children's belief uh, i i invited them to uh, to make uh, one of them came and asked me how is my painting or maybe they were going through a painting session painting session and where there was a lot of anxiety on is my painting nice is my am, am i doing it correctly am i using the paint properly uh so next week i decided to bring the concept of dirty painting and i said okay let's make dirty painting and one first question was that um uh it's not possible we should not be making dirty painting because people will not like it and that was a, a nice beginning for me to again invite them to let's make what will happen if we make the dirty painting and then uh, one of them then started yeah then we will not have fear of uh, whatever failure we can try we can explore so so so, so some conversation happened um around that and and then and then they begin to paint dirty and uh, they begin with painting whatever without asking what is my painting how is my painting and uh, soon that uh, that actually went into messing up other people's painting messing up with paint playing with paint throwing paint on the uh, wall and all that bring that brought another opportunity for us to uh, uh bring the aspect uh, of the exploration and the resources and 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 different things uh, they realized that the idea of throwing paint was not good because it took buckets of water to wash and um, uh, uh at least i think we took 3 hours to clean the floor uh, which was fallen on the um flow uh and then they again begin with making dirty painting this time with themselves with this time admiring that how my mental thoughts are flowing right now what am i thinking and 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 they, 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 there's a lot of i i actually begin with them that okay they uh, let's take the let's make this experience as as going beyond our limits of making a very beautiful painting but i think in the process it it went on for four or five days and it in, and and in this process i think we we discovered a lot of things we children came out with their own apprehensions and um, and and lot of different other beliefs which they carried for themselves yeah right so uh, in some ways uh, i'm one of my favorite is how we can use humor um and humor is uh, i i don't know how you look at humor but i look at humor is just letting go letting go of our own 
own self, our own self importance, self correctness, self whatever, whatever. If I let go of the self, then everything is humorous, everything is laughable, everything is giggleable, everything is ROFL and so on, LOL and so on. So, yeah, that's the invitation um, to look at an environment filled with humor, um, not just jokes, but the warmth of humor where it's not putting down others, but it's constantly. Uh, just, just going round and round in circles. Yeah, Sunita, sometimes not possible. So rest of the sometimes you can make it possible. So opposite of sometimes is many times. So many times possible, sometimes not possible. <laughs> well, let's start with the ha ha button in each one of us. Let's tickle each other uh, physically, emotionally, mentally, uh, hugly, and whichever way you can tickle each other. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to so, the questions. Yeah, sorry. So I think the the point here is let go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I when I let go, what I'm holding at that moment, I think humor flows in. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, so I think it's it's not 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 only about laughing all the time or not being joyful all the time. It's. At that moment, am I able to let go? Let go the mistakes I've done, the let go of things are not happening my way, the let go of, of, of my, my own expectations, let go of my beliefs, let go of my social images. Yes, Hakuna Yeah, Hakuna <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah. So I think so, Yashwadhani, another name for relax, I will say, is just let go and, and, and then move ahead at that time. Yeah. So just a small tidbit I just wanted to bring, which I have put on uh, on the slide and uh, how, how the child's response was so humorous and and it changed the um, the, the whole context at that time <laughs> yeah yes Jamit, we will take the questions now uh, before before we go to this yeah yeah Amit, go ahead and others also if you have questions related to You mean to say we both fight? Obviously we fight. What's the fun without uh, fighting? In all kinds of expression, I guess, shouting to sweet, to understanding, to not understanding, to listening, to not listening, to everything. I think the whole gamut or the spectrum of, uh, uh, you can say, ways of interacting, not just amongst us, but, but with children. In fact, I, we, we keep joking that, you know, if somebody asks us that, uh, do you use corporal punishment? We say, no, 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 no. We just beat each other up. <laughs> By beating each other up means we fight. We can physically fight and emotionally fight and mentally fight and, and so on. Right? So it's not one way. It's not, we are not controllers or teachers. Yeah. So more questions, please. Um, Well, Priya, you can see how, what will that exposing do. So you can think about it. How can that lead to learning when we can expose them to our arguments? Okay, Amit, you are getting too personal here. <laughs> okay, more questions overall with mental environment, physical environment. How do I, what do I kind of questions? We will we'll throw Amit out of the Zoom meeting. Yeah, I'm just waiting if there are any questions. Okay, meanwhile, uh, we have to switch the presentation. I wanted to show you a few slides of uh, uh, how a, a home or a campus can teach. So we'll be just changing that. Meanwhile, you can ask questions.
Yeah. Uh, any thoughts, any questions which coming in your mind right now about <clears throat> social, mental, emotional, physical? Radhika is saying, my foyer looks for appreciation in forms of stars. But somehow we wonder why I always ask. Uh, just one minute, I'm not able to follow the chat. chat. Just Can I see the chat on this? Mm. Just give me a, um, just give me some time to be able to follow the chat. Yeah, there are a couple of questions there. Um, yeah, Priya is asking, looking for approval of his work. Uh, Radhika is asking, appreciation um, uh, for work. Um, Pranesh is asking, there's a fight clash between our environment and school or society. So it's very confusing for the child. Uh, yeah, uh, but, but isn't that confusion is, is a learning um, opportunity uh, for the child. Uh, and as we were talking about the mental environment and social uh, emotional environment, that are we accepting those confusions? Are we... Uh, are we fine with with those confusions which which the child is going to receive um, and then and and if there is an interaction place is is there is interaction place in homes to bring those confusion there is 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 there anything wrong with being being confused um, so same priya and and rashmi uh, <coughs> rashmi is saying we are discussing why not having discussion include the child yeah you can um, yeah, you can see that what is that will bring uh, in your homes when 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 we talk about the social environment. Um, Amit is saying, "Son gives me question: Is he the best?" <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's that's a that's an opportunity to engage into conversation about not only he but about best and and, and many different things. Ponder about many different uh, things. Mm. Yeah, Priya, your son is son is giving you different uh, aspects. Maybe asking you to 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 understand um, uh, his work, his. Uh, his needs, uh, what is he looking? Maybe we, we talked in one of the session about the sensitive and serious or, or uh, the praise uh, which is which, which which we are getting involved into it. Maybe <clears throat> yeah. Sunita so is saying she doesn't like to look bad or go wrong. Yeah, I think is, is she being accepted? I think acceptance is the one which the child needs. We are not talking about. An ideal child. We are not talking about this ideal home where everybody is 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 behaving or 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 on the stage perfectly in all different ways. But what we are talking about when we say the social emotional environment, where we are, we are talking about, are we accepting each other with whatever are their preferences, whatever their style? Uh, so, so in some way, Sunita, are you accepting her, not accepting herself? That's the acceptance we are talking about, not just accepting her as her. Yeah, so that's interesting, right? So yeah. as of now, in her mind, what is more important is that uh, I should not be bad or I should not be wrong. And isn't that amazing? Maybe that will not be there 10 years later, maybe. maybe. So, so right now, that is... That is the way to look, meaning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to to engage in it rather than uh, just just close it, wishing that it will come out good. 
Yeah, I think that that's a quite huge thing which we can give to our children is that we accept you what you accept about yourself at that moment. And I think it, it's like a river. It's like it's very dynamic the way they change about themselves. But this whole feeling that am I being accepted for what I'm thinking right now is accepted or not. Yeah. Um, maybe. Uh, yeah, Mina, you can, uh, uh, it, again, the same thing. I think we are talking about the acceptance. Are you accepting that time? There's a difference between agreeing and accepting. Yeah, we can, we can, if we can disagree, but we can still accept that at that moment, that's what the child's, uh, child is thinking and child is a complete being at that time with whatever um, responses or or or, or uh, needs or preferences or style the child is exhibiting at that time. Yeah, I also want to take this opportunity to do some marketing, <laughs> which is to invite you for the Jagriti program because a lot of these thoughts that are coming are more to understand the child and understand ourselves with respect to child, not so much to do with the the behavior itself. And we can go much deeper uh, uh, into uh, understanding the child and ourselves. How are we relating to the child? So I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we will do that. Uh, so inviting you to Jagruti, which starts uh, on 22nd, marketing close. <laughs> Thank you, Ratnesh. Yeah, so thanks, Purvi, yeah, for seeing Arvi through our eyes. Um, so no, no thoughts at that moment. Perfectly okay. Um, we are always available. Uh, we can uh, we can always uh, share. Uh, meanwhile, I think. Uh, Ratnish, uh, uh, just want to share another presentation. It's it's a uh, it's in the moving mode. Uh, it's 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 our attempt to bring uh, just an, just as an example that uh, can we think when when we are creating uh, any learning space, whether it's a home, which is the which is the first unit for the ch child to start with, and. Uh, and then uh, a community space like Aruhi or a campus like Aruhi, can we start thinking that can the space itself be a, a learning uh, or, or the way the way things are in that place? Can they teach me a lot of things? So, so uh, I will just take you through this presentation and then maybe a little more talk about it at the end. Yeah. Right, so this shows when we were starting the campus, how we thought of that a campus itself can teach. Um, we were few of us, but we thought we will build the campus together. So we're two facilitators and six kids, and we thought we will build the whole campus ourselves. And these are some of those children. Um, <clears throat> So what we, we started imagining how will be my bed, how will be my building. Uh, we started looking at uh, the whole design of it uh, and actually doing it uh, with with the laborers. We are not saying we were we were digging everything. Uh, we also started thinking of how we can live and started living. Sorry, with limited budget, uh, and that was interesting because that gives birth to a lot of different ideas. Uh, then we started thinking, oh, we we don't we have a lot of sun which crop, which solar energy, which weather, which led to a lot of things based on solar in the campus. So whatever resources we had, we said, let's explore that. Uh, then we had a lot of train journeys. So we started looking at how we can uh, look at train journeys as something where we can learn from. And there were lots and lots and lots of learning coming from trains, train journeys, train management, station management, and so on. Um, <clears throat> Then uh, we had we did not want it to have current from the electricity department, so we said we can have our own uh, electricity and also uh, water. So electricity and water, and we started recycling. We started producing our own electricity through solar and recycling all our water, 100% uh, recycling, and also using local uh, local ingredients, whatever is available. Start using those. 
then we give the constraint of hey let's not use too much cement what all we can do with mud so we make our own buildings with mud and wood which which is more available uh, than cement and look at even construction where we can really reduce cement so we started exploring that making earth back buildings and all kinds of stuff then we started thinking oh we have to live with the villagers so how do we connect with them and uh, you uh, you know take their help and learn from them rather than you know that we think we know better so we started interacting with a lot of villagers and learning from them um, and and so many people taught us so many things uh, that was really amazing uh, for me it was actually life transforming as a person how what what these villagers have taught me a totally different life act, actually and um, <clears throat> the whole idea was that how i can mend how i can take care of things how i can repair how i can uh, you know also share my learnings with others so we started working with uh with with even children in the village uh, not adults working but children working with other children in the village and sharing learning from each other uh, so life has continued in that form uh with different different things happening at different times but we think this whole concept of that can a a space teach is amazing because then you start looking at everything as an opportunity uh to learn uh, every single decision every single problem is a beautiful opportunity to learn so even at your home you can literally start by saying how can we make this home a learning space and then everything that is happening within your home life can be a source of of learning every little thing uh, you know um, and and that's the beauty of it so in fact literally all the problems that you have put in the chat window can be solved by kids <laughs> if, if if that is the way we look at it yeah so uh, before we move ahead i think savita is asking uh, he has his own preferences uh, he doesn't have acceptance within him yeah can we accept him that he doesn't accept himself and the, the, for a moment just have that belief and then have conversation with him to know him to understand him to listen to him maybe he has his own journey um, uh, to accept himself or maybe not at all accept him uh, but can can we accept him in that way whichever whether it's a external source or whether it is internal source aren't these or all our beliefs which we have made for ourselves which is which are beautiful maybe for ourselves but maybe at that moment that child is not relating with that belief so can we now accept his belief and then be with him rather than and and you can asking connect. him to be with us yeah and and if you can connect with this lovely quotation that we wanted to put at the last slide is that uh, okay you can read it on your screen uh, from st francis of assisi um <clears throat> okay so uh, it's 4:30 story time <laughs> uh, but is there any other thought or question before we end with the story time um okay our story will come don't worry but any question if you still uh, somewhere with a question okay i guess questions can also be taken yeah. on whatsapp uh the last session uh, which is on day after tomorrow is on reflection and i i think that's uh, that's where we we think uh, i always look at it this way that the deciding planning is always a co creation the doing is primarily child led uh, we are there to value add and reflection is a lot of times us led as in we lead it in the sense of we bring in a lot of different ways of reflecting so so th that's an area where we can bring in lot of value to the child and for our own understanding of the child so yeah let's do that day after tomorrow and um, uh, yeah and let's continue discussing on whatsapp so the story it's a very tiny story there this was uh, a, a religious function was to happen so uh, this this person who was in charge of the uh, of the religious function uh, he had a little boy uh, to uh to help him arrange the chairs 
so this boy was whistling and arranging the chairs so uh, for some time you know this this religious person kept on bearing it but after some time he couldn't bear it and he, he snapped at the child you know what are you doing why are you whistling so he says the boy didn't really get that uh, thing and he looked up to the person and he said well it is a gift of god so i am you whistling and working so that 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 kind of melted the person and he said oh my goodness what am i doing he said sorry boy i i think i just got very irritated with your whistling he says no problem irritation is also a gift of joy a <laughs> gift of god <laughs> so that's where the story is <laughs> right so any anything in the learning environment is a gift of god <laughs> in that sense yeah thank you and have a great day bye bye thank you